This is the first reel I ever learned, first tune I ever learned, really. Uh, it's a tune called The Peeler's Jacket, and I got it out of the uh, Ellie McCulloch's 101 Irish Session Tunes. It was a book, came with four cassette tapes, so that's how old this was. Um, and I learned it uh, when I first started playing, I guess about 20 some odd years ago. Uh, it was a pretty popular tune at the time, but I really don't hear it much anymore, so I thought it would be a good one to break out. It's fairly simple, pretty straightforward, and it sounds great on the flute and the whistle. It does a lot of cool octave jumping and things like that, um, so hopefully it'll be a good one to work on. Just like I did for the last lesson, I'm going to break this up. Uh, so rather than just playing it all the way through, I'm going to do ha about half the A part, and the other half the A part, half the B part, and so on, um, and then play it all together slowly still without any ornaments, and then come back through and add in the ornaments and the variations and all that good stuff. Uh, so we'll start off with the A part here. Um, I try to play it slowly, and hopefully you can pick this one up. Uh, so again, Peeler's Jacket. That's the first half of the A part. So hopefully you got that bit. And the second part carries on. So I did a bit more than half, I suppose, on that one. It's a little bit longer, but it's kind of all one phrase, so I figured it would be good to get it all together. So we'll do that bit again. Just kind of walks down the scale. So we'll put all that part together from the top. For the second half of the A part, the second the second uh, part anyway. Yeah, so and that's pretty similar. A common theme in Irish tunes where they repeat that bit, um, and then to finish to finish the A part. Pretty similar, except it just doesn't do the walk down. The whole A part, then we'll play that all together. So that's the A part. Pretty straightforward. Now the B part jumps up high, so we'll start up there. Kind of the first half of that, play that again. And then the second half starts kind of the same way. Kind of falls down similar to what we did in the A part. Um, so then the second half of the B part starts again up high. Same as we did in the beginning of the B part, and then the ending of the B is just a bit different. So try that again. So again, fairly similar all the way through. Now I'm going to play all the B part so you can hear it kind of all as one thing there. Thing. I'm going to play A, A, B, B all the way through, uh, again without any ornaments, just kind of basic, and uh, we'll see if we can put it all together. <laughs> so here we go again.
So there we got the basic melody. Now I'm going to play it again more up tempo with all the ornaments and uh, kind of come back through and maybe I'll do uh, explain a bit about where I put everything. So here we go, more up tempo. There we go. Um, first thing you probably noticed were the the, the uh, rolls on the long G notes, especially up high. Anytime you get a good long note like that, where you play without the the ornaments, in those long note long held notes like that are a great place for the rolls. So we did that. We also did the uh, what I what I like to do is uh, triplet up to the the high G. Uh, so to finish it off. Uh, So I'm doing a triplet up to the D and then just jumping up to the G. I like doing that a lot. Just makes a pretty cool transition, I think. Um, the other thing I like doing on that was the uh, double tap. Um, just kind of has a nice little subtle ornament to it, I think. Um, so I kind of like that one. So like I always say, listen to other people playing it. This is a pretty good common tune. Shouldn't have any trouble tracking down another version of it. So listen to a few other folks play it and see what you think. Um, and as always, hit me up if you have any questions or comments or anything like that. Let me know, and I'll, uh, I'll answer them as soon as I can. If you got any requests, be sure and get them in too. So hopefully you like that one, and thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.